Hi there, I'm Bon Crowder with Math4.com here talking about the area of a right triangle given the base and the height. So let's look. We have a right triangle. The base, a right triangle has a little right angle right there. That's what makes it a right triangle. The base is 5 centimeters and the height is 2.6 centimeters. So now we need the formula for the area of a triangle or the area of a right triangle. So let's see. Area of a triangle is one half base times height. You can remember that by remembering that a rectangle area is length times width. And if you cut a rectangle in half like that, you get two triangles. Well, cut the rectangle, base times height, base times height, in half, one half, and you get the area of a triangle, half of that. So the area is one half base times height. Notice it gives you the base and the height. And in this case, the right triangle is completely irrelevant. doesn't matter what kind of triangle it is. If the base is something and the height is something else, that's what you use in your area formula. The base is 5 and the height is 2.6. And oh, good gracious, we've got fractions mixed with decimals. What a nightmare. So, 1 half times 5 times 2.6. So... I'm not a decimal person, but I will do this. This is the same as 0.5 times 5. Be real careful about where your decimals are and where your little multiplication dots are. Just notice this is going to get a little squirrely if you're not careful. Times 2.6. In fact, I'm going to put like a pink circle around the multiplication. Why not? So 0.5 times 5. 0.5 times 5. Multiply them like regular. Count how many decimal places we have. We have one, so we go here. So 0.5 times 5 is 2.5. And then we still multiply that by 2.6. Getting messy. I'm going to put my pink circle. So now I need to multiply 2.5 by 2.6. 2.5 and 2.6 and I multiply. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 3 is 15. 2 times 5 is 10. Oops, let me put my little blank holder there. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry that one. 2 times 2 is 4, 5. And then add that. Now we need decimals. We have one decimal here and one decimal here, so I need two total to put my decimal there. So my area is 6.5. Here's the kicker, 6.5 what? 6.5 centimeters, 6.5 glasses of milk. Well, we started with centimeters, and we multiplied two centimeters together, and area means you're gonna be able to cover it with carpet. Well, you don't measure carpet in regular numbers. You res measure it in square numbers, right? How many square feet is it going to take to carpet this place? You need the square something. So this is square centimeters. And if you want to be cutesy, you can do the little centimeter and then the little squared thing. But that's just going a bit too far. I'm Bon Crowder with Math4.com, reminding you that math is not a four-letter word.